If your plans for the Labor Day weekend involve barbecuing and hamburgers and dessert, then you definitely don't want to miss this segment. These next two segments, I'm so excited because they are making the studio smell so absolutely delicious. Jeremy Hansen and Casey Pomering with the Painted Table and G Free Goodie. Um, you're the general manager over there at the Painted Table. Now. I am. So I'm the G Free gal. Foodie and I work at Painted Table. So you're busy. I I do some things, but they're all with busy. food, so I just, busy. <laughs> just I mostly eat and drink wine for my job. Okay. It's working well, out. You know what? That's a quality problem. Right? <laughs> That's right. That's, That's right. absolutely a quality problem to have. All right, Jeremy, um, you've been making this studio smell so good since you got here. Well, what is you. going on? We well, are making what today? Well, for my little segment, I'm going to actually show you some different ways you can do a burger. You are making a what? Come on over I'm here. I'm doing different ways of uh, showing different ways okay. of how you can actually make spice up your Labor Day barbecue. Okay. Okay. Should we go yeah. dessert first? Let's do dessert first. That's how I roll. <laughs> Look, how did I know? I love. That's why. I, I, this is the first time I've met you, and I already love you. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with the brownies, Casey. So, this is a gluten-free brownie. This is a gluten-free brownie. The the recipe is on your website mm -hmm. and mine. Okay. And um, you can make them from scratch, or of course, there's box mixes mm -hmm. that you can get for gluten-free but I like to uh, make brownies and then kick them up a little bit if you're having people over for a barbecue yes so in my blender I put some fresh strawberries I put a little bit of vanilla bean paste okay. and you can taste it a little bit and see if it's sweet enough or not sweet enough and that is all it takes to make strawberry coolie so coolie? Coolie. coolie and so a coolie is just a sauce I've and never seen this before. You know, that is one of my favorite products from Whole Foods. Okay. And um, let's, if I can crack it open, you can smell it. It's <laughs> vanilla beans and... Um, oh, it's strong. Yeah, vanilla extract, and it's stabilized in a little bit of sugar. And oh. so this, you'd use one for one okay. as vanilla extract. And this is gluten-free, says okay. so right on the label. Some flavorings are not. So okay. people who are, have celiac disease mm -hmm. like me have to be careful. Okay. Um, so that's a product that I love. I'm going to cut you a slice of this brownie, and you are not going to be able to tell that it's gluten-free. You're not going to be able to tell the difference. Look at that cake. I, I went between cakey and fudgy. Yeah. Oh, I no, didn't know yeah, where no. you were at on the spectrum. No, I like in between. I okay. tend to lean more toward the fudgy side, but that's okay. It looks absolutely delicious. Brilliant. So you're just putting it on top now. Right. So okay. I'm just going to drizzle this strawberry sauce over. I kind of can't wait for you to taste it. Jeremy's actually whipping some cream. I know we can hear him over we there. We can hear yeah. him over there like a busy bee. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that so looks. So this, not only is it gorgeous, mm -hmm. you coming my way, Haas? Okay. I was going to have him do it on camera, but it was too loud. And we're going to take a little good, bit of that, like, right? A little bit of a loose cream. Now, Jeremy, really quickly, what did you put in the cream? How do you a make a that? A little bit of the uh, vanilla uh, concoction Casey has and a little bit of uh, powdered sugar. And that's it? That's it. That's you just it. lift it up? And you just whip it. Oh, whip it hard. I was whipping yeah. it hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over you guys. Yeah. Like well, we do eat it or wear it at the yeah, painted exactly. table. That's what we do. You guys have so much fun over at the painted table. Where exactly are you located? I hear so many great things about the painted table. We are right next to the Tower Theater. And we have um, a concert this weekend, actually, where people can come try our desserts and our burgers Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And a uh, painted table will also be a huge yeah. part of our gluten-free and wellness expo. How is that? It's absolutely delicious. And no, I cannot tell it's gluten-free, which means it has no no wheat, no... Wheat, barley, or rye. So uh -huh. gluten's a protein that's found in wheat, barley, and rye. Mm -hmm. And uh, we use this flour blend. It's gluten-free mama. There are a number of flour blends on the market, and you just sub it right out and you can make incredible baked goods so that are this, free of gluten. Does this mean that they're lower in calories or no? No. So okay. um, that's one of the common misconceptions with gluten-free is that people say, oh, you're just doing it to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're doing a diet where you're limiting sugar and some of the other things that you would do to lose weight, well, sure. Mm -hmm. um, and it is argued that living gluten-free might be healthier, mm -hmm. um, particularly with people with autoimmune disorder, like I have, mm -hmm. it definitely is healthier. Or people who have other like IBS or other GI issues, mm -hmm. it's often healthier for them to, to live gluten-free. But 
It's not a diet. Unless you're on a diet. Okay. So if you eat a bunch of gluten-free ice cream and, you know, lots of pans of gluten-free brownies, it's going to be all bad. But I think we can have one. Well, okay, good. Four. I was just going to say, right? that you buzz killed my, uh, <laughs> my dessert here. Uh, okay, really quickly, um, the Wellness Expo, these are the kind of things that people will be able to taste and learn about, right? So Absolutely. that's coming up here soon. It's September 27th at Whole Foods Market, 10 to 4, free for people to attend. Wow. There'll be cooking demos by me, by Jeremy, by Hillary from Whole Foods, and lots more folks. Tons yeah. of stuff to taste, live music. It's going to be a good party, and it's free, so come hang out with us. It's going to be so fun. You know I will be there, and we will be right here coming up, because when we come back, we are going to make these delicious hamburgers with Jeremy. So Stick around for that. Stick around.